do you think would scare somebody about social work? Because I want to address that. Um, I think maybe, you know, like circumstances that you wouldn't typically be comfortable with or maybe circumstances that you're not um, used to, I think. And just going into like, say if like you're a school social worker and you end up deciding like, oh, I don't want to be a school social worker, maybe I should be like medical social work and kind of like navigating that switch or that transition. Okay. And so let me explain to you why, if that if that is frightening to you, how you can hone in to not make that be so frightening. As a generalist practice social worker, which y'all all studied up to be, y'all been in school for four years, some of you maybe even longer in your program, you've got the tools. You are doing work from a generalist practice perspective. So whatever field of practice you go in, you take that general knowledge into that workplace and then learn how they do it. For example, before I became a master social worker of acute care, I currently work in a hospital. I had never worked in a hospital before. I had interfacing with social workers and nurse case managers of a hospital, but I had never worked in the hospital before. And I told them that when I interviewed, I had never worked in a hospital before. So they asked me in that interview, and mind you, there was a panel of about mm, eight senior managers of the hospital. And they were from all of the departments in the hospital. And here I was coming to ask to be the social worker of the hospital, the sole social worker of the hospital. So they asked me, well, if you've never worked in a hospital before, what, why do you think you can do this? Ah, glad you asked. And then I talked about being a social worker from the generalist practice perspective. Now, when I got my master's degree, I do have an emphasis in administration, not clinical. But I have some clinical skills because the master's program that I went to was two years. The first year, all clinical. The second year, you could choose clinical track, get your LCSW, administrative track. So I chose the administrative track because I knew I was in administrative material. So I knew that I could take that knowledge and I can do it anywhere. Think of the person who works at Pizza Hut. They know fast food like it's going out of style. They know people, what people what are going to take people off waiting in line, getting your order wrong, doing all that kind of stuff. So when they go from Pizza Hut to Taco Bell, they already got the fast food knowledge. So that's a way that you can conquer that fear, is knowing what you know. And then, of course, when you get into that particular setting, you got to learn how to do it. I went to a week's training at a hospital, not even here in Nevada, and shadowed a social worker for a week. Came back and they told me that ain't how we do it here. So I had to learn how to do it at the hospital that I'm in. And so when you as a social worker come up with uh, a come against challenging thing, things you, you never have experienced before, like you were saying, the best way to cha channel that fear is to look at that as a challenge. If some of you have boyfriends, girlfriends, you're married, you didn't, you didn't know this person before you knew them, right? But now you live with them, you share a bathroom with them. Well, no, if you're in my house, you ain't sharing no bathroom with me. We got to settle that. But I'm just saying, you, 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 you share things. You know that now you know this person and it's comfortable. But before you knew him or her, you didn't know them. You may have been a little nervous on the date. But once you got in there, you knew who you were. You knew what you wanted. You knew how you was going to go about it. You picked your outfit out, just looking cute. And you went on that date and you were fine. So that's how it will be the same when you encounter things. Because social work is a business where every single day you're going to encounter something different. So if you have that fear, 
maybe of working with a group of people that you never worked with before. Um, age bracket that you, oh, that's kind of scary. I don't want to work with no baby. You know, you, the way you channel that is looking at it from a perspective of this is something new, something different for me to learn. Does that answer your question? 